Hello, everybody. This is Salih Yumaz, and I'm going to talk about seismic retrofitting strategies, some uh, new seismic retrofitting strategies, actually. actually. I am going to exemplify a seismic retrofit application applied in Denizli State Hospital in Turkey. Denizli State Hospital has been constructed in 60s and it's over 50 years period. Uh, the building is in service and the building is used by, by patients and doctors heavily and therefore uh, there's no chance to keep the building out of service and therefore uh, the, the hospital management decided to strengthen the structure while it's in service. So uh, we just take the plans and carry out a, a structural investigation procedure on the building and see if the building is statically reliable or not. It's, uh, it has some shear walls and it has two blocks actually uh, divided by a, uh, a joint and uh, as you can see 3D models of both blocks we have some shear walls directed along the short direction of the building and uh, we don't have any other shear walls in the structure uh, in the uh, long direction uh, which is supposed to be stronger by uh, structural engineers at that time but that's not the case actually while uh, the structure is having very stiff uh, characteristics in shortest direction it has very soft characteristics in the long direction and therefore structure is going under high interstory drifts uh, under seismic excitations so we have carried out some seismic analysis and uh, find out that the building cannot achieve structural safety required structural safety level so we decided to strengthen the structure by some uh, additional shear walls in the uh, long direction which here uh, we should have some shear walls in this direction because uh, we don't have any shear walls in this direction while we have the shear walls here and here and as you see those shear walls are uh, somehow symmetrically placed in the structure so uh, those shear walls are uh, mostly adequate for the seismic uh, forces acting on this direction. So while we have seismic forces acting in this direction, no problem, but there's no guarantee that there's uh, only seismic forces in short direction, but we may have seismic forces acting in, on the long direction of the building. So uh, we have decided to add some shear walls and these shear walls may be added here or here and here for block B. We may have such shear walls, but the shear walls uh, constructed inside the building means that we cannot use the building during construction process. So uh, there are some uh, problems related with the use of the building. And uh, because of this issue, the hospital management decided not to have strengthening work uh, for a long period of time because they cannot achieve uh, to uh, provide us enough time to uh, empty the building and uh, go in and construct and uh, strengthen the structure. So what we have is to find out another solution. We just decided to provide external shear walls onto the structure. And as you can see on the plan, we have for the block A, A block, block A, 
let's say here we have a shear wall added at the side of the structure here and at the other side we provided some other shear walls as well that's the similar case in uh, block b here you can see the shear walls added on the side of the building so this type of shear walls will not uh, prevent the use of structure while it's uh, in service the uh, strengthening work could be done as well so uh, here are some uh, plan uh, details uh, shown in the uh, picture and we just started the construction work after carrying out analysis procedures and other uh, official documentation about the structural strengthening project and we just placed the shear walls as precast panels uh, and we just connected them uh, onto the side of the building as shown here and here you can see shear walls uh, are the panels are located in the structure like this and we have some uh, connection provided between the panels new panels and the columns existing columns and beams and as you can see uh, the existing old shear walls on the structure were strengthened as well by frp application the only problem related with the uh, existing shear walls was the shear resistance so, so in order to add some shear strength to the uh, existing shear walls we uh, applied some diagonal bracing frp elements on the existing shear walls and since uh, we have uh, high uh, strength shear capacity at the base at the critical base level uh, we don't need to uh, provide any other uh, strengthening at the upper levels we just uh, keep it at the bottom two floors or bottom two stories and we do not carry out the strengthening of existing shear walls for the upper stories and here you can see we just clear up all the surfaces of columns and beams and uh, we just uh, repaired the surfaces by repairing mortar high quality high strength mirror painting mortar and then we placed uh, the shear walls uh, and uh, the shear walls are uh, constructed like this here the application has a uh, has some uh, tricks about foundation construction or foundation design and the application of this type of structure strengthening requires to construct or uh, assembly of the first story uh, panels uh, at the beginning after uh, assembling the first story panels which have steel bars extending into the foundation uh, on the panels uh, you can after the uh, assembly of the first story panels you can just construct here a, a continuous footing uh, like this and this continuous footing can be constructed after assembly of the panel on the first story or the ground floor story or basement story whatever the uh, lowest one uh, and after having uh, these panels at the uh, bottom story you can just proceed with the construction of uh, continuous footings and after that you can just go with the construction or assembly of the 
second story uh, panels and you can keep assembling of panels then and the structural strengthening work here uh, has some tricks because here we have uh, pre-designed uh, holes for the anchoring of the panels to the existing structure but this pre-existing holes may not be uh, good for uh, for all the cases because uh, sometimes there could be some uh, existing reinforcement at the inner column and you cannot just drill at that location so uh, having some alternative points could be better as well and uh, this is the most important point here in this application we could manage to uh, place the uh, anchoring bars but uh, if the columns uh, inside columns have uh, reinforcing bars frequently placed reinforcing bars it could be a problem so you have to be very careful about placement of the reinforcing bar at the column inside so if you have a highly reinforced column uh, this uh, type of uh, connection detail could be a problem for you so uh, you should be aware of the reinforcing details of the inside column so uh, we could manage in this case and uh, we just have some uh, minor problems but uh, we can just uh, overcome these issues by drilling new holes but if you uh, will drill too much, it may uh, hurt the new panels as well, and it could be a problem. So you should be avoiding uh, the drilling of new panels. Uh, so you have to ensure uh, your uh, whole, pan whole profile is somehow uh, fitting to the profile of the reinforcement in the column so this is how uh, we keep going and as you see here uh, we don't have problem for almost none of them so uh, we can easily construct the first story panels and then we keep uh, going and at the second story, uh, we just have the same issues. And here we have a, uh, an apparatus to uh, just keep the panel stable while uh, trying to uh, connect it to the existing structure. You just place the panel on to the uh, steel profile uh, angular profile and then then you just uh, place the anchors on the panel and then you can uh, provide uh, after providing some uh, strength at the uh, connection uh, you can keep going and here are the panels waiting for the assembly and uh, you can easily keep constructing the panels and here are uh, some pictures while the, the workers are assembling the third story panels and it, it will go on like this and as you see we have uh, the connection uh, in between panels but here the panels are connected to the existing columns and there is a discontinuity in between panels and this discontinuity could be a problem for structural integrity because uh, the panels should, resist, should be resisting seismic forces by itself 
we just ignore the resistance provided by columns uh, anymore because the columns may not be uh, a good resisting element for seismic uh, forces. That's why we are adding uh, shear walls. And because of uh, this issue, we have to provide good integrity uh, within the shear walls. So uh, this is something we should consider. And uh, here we have the panels constructed one on top of each other and one on top of each other. And you can here see that the panels are uh, construct uh, or connected by plates, uh, by welded plates on both sides. And here the plates were not welded yet at the top floor, but the welding of floor, welding of panels uh, has been completed here and there. So this is how we, uh, how we achieve the connection of panels in, uh, in between different stories. So here is the details of the uh, strengthening scheme. And you can see that how we connected the panels uh, at the joint level. And, and at this level, we have uh, anchor bars, we have steel plates connecting the shear panel to each other and connecting shear panels to the structure. So that's how we can achieve to have uh, a strengthened structure. And in this way, the building has been strengthened uh, by a very innovative approach. Uh, and the building remains in service while the strengthening works has been done. So uh, the users were very happy about that because they get the, the health service from the hospital. And uh, beside that, they also feel the safety because the building was uh, but the building becomes a seismically strengthened structure and it will have no problem related to earthquake anymore. So this is how we strengthen the structure here. And that's how we do uh, the strengthening work. I think uh, this will be a good method for many of the seismically deficient structure. And uh, let me say that as well, we have been conducted uh, the experimental uh, program on uh, the connections of retrofitting panels uh, applied on uh, deficient reinforced concrete frames. And we have proved all these procedures by some experimental approach as well as finite element analysis. So uh, in another video, I'll just provide you the experimental program we have been carried out. Thank you for watching and see you in the upcoming videos.